happy Friday everyone. What is going on? It's your buddy Pro Bounty Hunter here and welcome to Free For All Friday. So we are up here at the dog park right now. Woof, woof goes the dog, right? Where's the dog? Dog's over there. Who's that? Who's that? Lulu? A Lulu? Hello? Thank you to every single person that subscribed to the channel this week. We've got an awesome subscriber grow going on. I don't know how to say it. Increase in subscribers, whatever you want to call it. But the thing I want to say is when we hit 60, 60 subscribers, that's like, I think when I checked two days ago, that's like seven, seven more subscribers away. I got a couple of things that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for. So I'll probably do two of the items on here and one of the items on Twitter. So if you're not following me there already, please do that now, PBH365. To get started today, I wanted to talk to you guys about my top 10 favorite shows of my childhood. And let's get started. So for the number 10 show of my childhood, I chose Rocco's Modern Life. If you guys don't know what the show is, it's pretty interesting. It's like the most randomly bizarre drawn cartoon ever. And the stories are so just far-fetched and out there. It's, it's definitely worth watching. Number nine is Happy Years. The Happy Years. Fred Savage. What would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? That. I, I seriously grew up on that every single night that I was on at Nick at night when I was going to bed. And the stories that they give you on that show are, are definitely, most of them are timeless. Yeah. So number eight, we have Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. No, not the movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the Disney TV show. Never saw Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show. I doubt it was better than the movie. Well, it was good enough where they made multiple seasons out of it. <laughs> Number seven, Dexter's Laboratory. I'm sure you all know what that is. Number six, are you afraid of the dark? Are you? Because that was a good show. Did you ever see that? Yes. Are you afraid of the dark? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was I'm a good show. Sucks. Number five. <laughs> What is it? Uh, Doug. Yeah, Doug. If you guys never seen Doug, that is another weirdly drawn cartoon show with like some ridiculous names. Like for instance, the, the girl that Doug had a crush on was named Patty Mayonnaise and his friend was Skeeter. Skeet, Skeet, Skeet. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Okay, number four, Home Improvement with Tim Allen, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. That was an awesome show. That had like Pamela Anderson in it. It had so many different like people that became famous before they were famous appeared on that show. Number three was Mon, Pokemon, Digimon, those two. I, I felt like I should put them together because they're both things that <laughs> came out of Japan and they both had significant okay. cultural impacts. Look at the dog! Just chilling. It's just chilling. Yeah, so, I don't know. I Pokemon and Digimon, it's hard to choose one over the other. Like, Pokemon was awesome. They had all these games and stuff for it. And, and Digimon was just... I don't know, it was a different story. It was, it was something that Pokemon wasn't. It had something like the real world to tie into. So it kind of made it more believable that there were digital creatures roaming through the internet and you could capture them through a Digivice. Okay, number two. Do we know what number two is? Uh, yes, she knew what number two was. I didn't even have to show her. I mean, I What's my number one? South Park, I'm not dumb. She definitely looked at this list before. Okay, so number two is Seinfeld, and number one is South Park. Seinfeld is a hilarious, hilarious show made by Jerry Seinfeld, Kramer, George Costanza, Newman. 
all those guys are just characters, and that's why they had nine seasons? Nine or eight seasons? I think it was nine seasons. That's why they had nine seasons, because the show was just so funny. It was a show about nothing. You didn't have to watch the episode before. There was like three times that you had to watch the episode before, but they recapped it. It, was, it wasn't continuing on from episode to episode. It was a pretty cool show in South Park. Where would society be without South Park? This show single-handedly redefined norms and made people think what was culturally acceptable. I mean, for instance, that, that one episode, how many times could they get away with saying shit on TV? And they had a counter. They had a rolling counter going off the entire episode, counting every time somebody said shit. They, they just... They are able to come out with an episode so quickly. They have such a, uh, a tremendous staff of writers and animators and cartoonists, you know, back then and, and people that cut out of construction paper that they can make an episode so quick that it is relevant to whatever's going on. I mean, they had a, a little time. They're on like season 17 or 18. That is a ridiculously long run for a TV show, especially a cartoon. I mean, The Simpsons is like, what, season 30 by now? But South Park, they had their, their little, like, dead spot. But the stuff they came out with last year, like Caitlyn Jenner driving through just crowds of people and being uh, Miss, Mrs. Garrison's running mate, Mrs. Garrison's Donald Trump, like, that is just, you, you can't, come on. You, you, you literally built up these characters, built these massive backstories behind them, and then you're just continuing on them. When, when you think that nothing more can be done, they do it, and they, they re, rewrite new rules, they, they break new rules, make new boundaries, make new barriers, and they break them. That's why I love South Park. Okay, so next up is the channel shoutouts. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is the third week of the channel shoutouts. It's very simple to get one. All you have to do is let me know that you have a channel. Send me to your content, send me a link in, the, in a comment on this video, send me a link and a comment on another video, private message me, direct message me, whatever you want to do, just let me know that you have a channel out there. I love watching other people's content on YouTube, and I would love to watch your content, and I'd love to throw you right here, right now, along with these three other people. We're going to be doing three gaming channels this week for, Mo or, oh, wow, Free For All Friday. Sorry, we just got back from a couple days of filming. I'm sunburnt, my brain's a little fried right now. But that's okay. The three channel shoutouts this week are. Hold on a second. Because I had to take a screenshot on my phone. Because I had to turn the internet off. Because the phone's almost dead. Hold on a sec. Okay. So the first channel shoutout is going to. Can you guys see that? Can you see that? No, you can't see that. Can you see that now? No. Okay, first channel shout out's going to Scaredy Ham. This guy's got a hilarious channel. He's got some funny content. He makes really great videos with a camera capture up in the top corner. I recommend you guys go and check him out. Next up we have Macus, and he does video game uploads as well. He's a pretty decent Call of Duty player. All right, and the third channel shout out for another gaming channel is Zavio. Doesn't have that much on there, but the stuff that he does have on there is definitely worth watching. Don't forget, tomorrow night we have our second episode of the Saturday Evening Rant. I'd love for you guys to go check it out. Let me know what you think. If you haven't watched last week's episode, go ahead and watch it now so you know what you're going to be getting into for the episode. Next week, we have a couple of awesome adventures coming up as well. We did a two-day road trip down south. Not down south all the way, but south of Mass. You'll just have to watch and find out where we went and what we did. But pretty cool. That's going to do it. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching this episode of Free For All Friday. I appreciate every single one of you that subscribed to my channel. I thank you for commenting, liking. I'm Pro Bounty Hunter. I'll see you tomorrow night. Peace.